What's up guys, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll be discussing the mistakes that I made in one of my previous paintings and ones that you should be avoiding when it comes to painting compositions. So this painting over here is a uh, reproduction of a Thomas Kincaid painting that I did a couple years back. This is actually my first one that I did, my first reproduction that I did of a uh, Thomas Kincaid painting. And you can see here that uh, I made a lot of mistakes on here, but I mean, I would say objectively, it's still a pretty good painting. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I got a lot of things down on there. I got a lot of uh, elements on there. Obviously, the, the the background, the trees, the sky. I think I got it down pretty well. I mean, I'm not trying to blow my own horn or anything, but I mean, I've been painting landscapes for a while, and I kind of have a basic idea at least of what I'm doing. But I mean, I'll, there's always room for improvement. But anyways, the mistake that I made over here, the biggest mistake I hear that I made over here is definitely the background. And what I'll be talking about today is the background, the color schemes, and how you can avoid making those mistakes when it comes to making the way too saturated backgrounds. Over here you have uh, background, the uh, sky, it's, it's really, really yellow, it's oversaturated. As you can see, it's a lot of yellows on there. Way too bold, way too light, vivid, saturated. What you want to do in a landscape composition is to make it less saturated, make it more muted, dial down those colors. If you got yellow, if you got oranges, add a little bit of the gray on there, add a little bit of the, the opposite colors, maybe some blue on there. So that way you can have a more dialed down background. And you can also see in the purple trees over here, there's a lot of purple over here. I tried to dial it down with a little bit of grays on there, but I think I didn't do enough of it, to be honest. And so over here, you just have a lot of this, these clashing colors, these yellows, these oranges coming together with these purples on there. They're, uh, they're way, they make way too much noise on here overall with this main composition. And you can also see that with everything else over here too. The grass is way too green, the, the trees over here, they're way too, way too pink, way too green. Even the match is a little off, the, the perspective's off, but that's for another video or whatever. But anyways, I'll be talking about more of the, the colors on here, which are not done well. And so that's the biggest mistake I made in the, this first reproduction. So let me show you the other reproduction that I was working on lately. This is the other one. It's my most recent one. This is Mountain Chapel, also by Thomas Kincaid, which I'm working on at the moment, which I'll be releasing my video, my time lapse video on it pretty soon. Over here, you can see that I'm making less errors so over here you have the the mountains in the background of the sky and over here i have less less intense colors you can see that i'm using less saturated colors on here what i'm doing is i'm mixing a lot of grays on there a lot of grays with the purples some grays with the uh, oranges on there objectively this looks like pretty vivid still but i'm actually mixing a lot of the, the muted colors on with this one i'm adding a lot of gray to uh, pretty much everything to my mixture and even so, it's still coming out pretty bright and pretty vivid because these colors are opposite colors on the, uh, the color wheel. And what they do is that they push each other out regardless of their intensity. So even if they're dialed down, even if they're lower in saturation, they're still gonna be pretty good when it comes to the background. And so what that does is that it pushes out the colors in the foreground more. It pushes out the, the more bright, vivid details in the, the foreground more. Because everything in the, the painting can't be all equal. Everything can't be equal with regards to the, the saturation levels and uh, the e intensity of it. So what you wanna do is have a good focal point where in this painting, the focal point is gonna be the, the church and the, the foreground underneath it. So over here you have the, a brighter foreground, which I'll be working on later, which I'll be working on with the gradients. And you can see with this one that the, the color, it's pretty uniform on all levels. There's no gradients on it, there's no transitions of colors. The green, it re remains pretty much the same everywhere you go. The bottom, the top, it looks, it's the same. But what you want to do with the landscape is that have that gradient of color too. You want to have the darker area down here and then a transition slowly into a lighter color up there. That way it, it leads the eye towards the subject, the focal point, which is going to be that. And I think there's a secondary one. I'm not too sure about, I'm not too sure about that. I'm not a professional at this, but... It's gonna be another, a second focal point with this over here, this uh, opening. But anyways, uh, the gradients, that's a whole different topic, but yeah, watch out for those colors, watch out for that saturation. Make sure that the, the background is dialed down, 
add more grays to the purples here, add more grays to all this background. So that way, it'll uh, create more that more of that misty atmosphere that a lot of these Thomas Kincaid paintings have, anyways. And with uh, the yellow, you got to be careful with mixing the yellow because otherwise it's going to turn out really green and and muddy, and you probably don't want that. But um, what I would do is have the majority of the colors as gray. I would say the yellow would be maybe 40% of the mixture. Have the gray as another 20%, and then have the, the white as another 40%. So that, that'll make it 100%. So add those colors together on there and make it dial down. Definitely the dial down yellow, the clouds too. So that way it'll bring out the, the rest of the painting. So that's one of the lessons for today. So keep that in mind, guys. If you uh, like this video, leave a comment below. I can always use some more constructive feedback. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want. So thanks for watching.